a working class neighborhood in the south of Paris. Here, like often, the youth gets by by hustling. But a new trend is raging. Underground fighting. Young men go at it, and others bet on them. Ufuk is 18 years old. He's a construction worker. This evening, he'll take part in one of these fights for the first time. He's already earned a certain reputation among his friends for fighting against neighborhood gangs. Yeah, we saw him fight. He knocked them out. Hey, street fights, street fights, your respect. Hey, he's famous for that. This evening, there'll be a lot riding on him. Win or lose, Ufuk will take home 500 euros. Illegal fighting gives him a way to earn some easy money without resorting to crime. The man organizing the underground fight this evening lives just a few doors away. He recruited Ufuk, 38 years old. Jerome is stock manager in a store. He's married with a daughter. It's a bit of a black market, but for me it's not, it's not illicit in fact, but it's not wrong. It's a sport and it pays. Arranged in a semicircle, the cars light up the combat zone. They have to move fast, but Jerome's used to it. This type of gathering happens nearly every month. Kids are even paid to keep watch. The more there's violence, the more there's betting. This evening, there are a few gamblers, and the exchanges are discreet. Ufuk with the red gloves weighs 10 kilos less than his opponent. Here, unlike official boxing, there are no weight classes. That only increases the danger. Come on, show us more. Why are you here? Are you here for money? You have to work for it. You have to fight. The average age of the spectators is about 20 years old. Many of them bet on Ufuk, and Jerome knows it. They've come to see violence. The kids have been fighting for nearly 10 minutes, and they're out of breath. Okay, 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 enough. The next fight is right after. K-O, 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 K-O. Frustrated by the first fight, the spectators demand a more violent match. And they'll get it. The man with the yellow gloves is a 40-year-old father. He's facing off against a colossus of half his age. At first glance, it's an uneven fight. And yet, after a few punches to the sides and to the temples, the young man falls. It's a knockout. Money, KOs, adrenaline, and clandestine organization. Dozens of underground fights are organized every weekend, and this new trend isn't limited to the ghettos of France. Ultraviolent sports have become a social phenomenon the world over. In the United States, it's free fighting, where all blows are allowed, including when the opponent is on the ground. The fighters are superstars, and their exploits are televised on the largest channels in the United States. The sport brings in more than 500 million in profits per year. Even more surprising, in New York, both fighters and spectators are stock traders and white collar workers. That's the case with Michael, a real estate agent. I guess the only the only conflict is if I come in looking all beat up. And yet these fights are strictly illegal in the city. So how do they manage to organize these types of shows behind closed doors? The politicians are saying, well, it's too violent. Based on what? What's your benchmark? Why do you say it's violent? In France, free fighting is strictly forbidden. It's deemed to be too violent. However, that doesn't stop enthusiasts like Carrar from doing it. But here... It's secret, in dark rooms, far from police interference. A lot of KOs, never any doctors, but more and more gamblers. Yeah, well done, go! These illegal fights generate a lot of money. Street fights bring in a lot, and we don't give a shit. 